So you are in this race too. Trump 2024, baby. I need this. I'm gonna carve you up. For vice president. For America. Benny, Donald Trump was one of the most successful TV hosts in all of history because of his buildup of suspense and drama on The Apprentice, choosing the winner at the very end and getting people to come along for the ride. And so he's doing the exact same thing with The Apprentice in real life for his vice presidential selection. Of course, we have stated many times, the reason why we are obsessed with this pick is that this is the future of MAGA. This pick is going to be the person who carries forward the torch. Donald Trump will have one term in office, and so he will be handing off the energy of the movement to this individual, and it has to be somebody who is the right person. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump has been sort of nibbling around the vice president question for quite a while. Approximately 60 days ago, Donald Trump said this about his selection of vice president. It's already finished. It's already done. I already know who I'm for picking. For vice president. Well, I can't tell you that, really. I mean, I know who it's going to you be. Give us a hint. I'll give you, we'll do another show sometime. Well, what about any of the people who you've run against? Would you be open to mending fences with oh, any sure, of them? Oh, sure, I will, I will. I've already started like Christy better. So that was the day that, I mean, I know, uh, laughs, <laughs> right? This is the day that Chris Christie drops out. And I took that at the moment that he said it as he's picking Tucker Carlson. I said, well, huh, the people who are doing the betting odds are saying that Tucker Carlson is the guy to beat, that Melania likes Tucker Carlson, and Donald Trump tipped his hat and said, we're gonna do a show about it, to Fox News saying, I'm gonna shove Tucker Carlson down your throats. So I assumed that that meant that Tucker Carlson was gonna be the guy. Just a week ago, Don Jr. was on my show saying, it's gonna be Tucker Carlson. I want it, I want Tucker, well, he's saying, I want Tucker Carlson. Don's favorite is Tucker Carlson. But ladies and gentlemen, things have materialized and changed since then, and Donald Trump did an interview last night what do we hear from Donald Trump last night? Ron DeSantis? Wait, what now? Ron DeSantis, Vivek Ramaswamy, Christy Noam, and former Democrat Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard as potential VP picks. What world are we living in? Hell yes. Now, I don't think I'm betraying anyone's trust by saying that I have, uh, at, a, at a conference, I had a very long dinner with Tulsi Gabbard, talked with her about a bunch of stuff, and she... Would, she told me she was totally open to being the vice president for Donald Trump. I think she said this uh, publicly before that, like, of course, like, why, why not entertain it? Why not? So a, like a unity ticket with Tulsi Gabbard. I don't know, man. Vivek Ramaswamy, obviously a crowd favorite. Ron DeSantis, haven't heard that name uh, in the VP contendership. Ron DeSantis has said he doesn't want to be Donald Trump's VP. Uh, but hey, man, it's crazy times, right? Let's have a listen to the answer and then we'll break it all down. Um, when Biden ran, he pledged he was going to pick a female vice president in 2020. What qualities are you looking for in your vice presidential pick? Well, always the first quality has to be somebody that you think will be a good president, because if something should happen, you have to have somebody that's going to be a great president. A lot of people are talking about that gentleman right over there. <laughs> He's on that, Tim Scott. He's a senator from South he's Carolina. Been, he's been South so Carolina. He's been such a great advocate. I, I have to say, I don't. This is in a very positive way. Tim Scott, he has been much better for me than he was for himself. I watched his campaign, <laughs> and he doesn't like talking about himself. But boy, does he talk about Trump! And I said, you know, I called him. I said, Tim, you're better for me than you were for yourself. But he's fantastic, and he's a fantastic person. Uh, so no, someone I who want can somebody step in. Can someone be, who can step into the role. Most importantly, you have to view that. The so, I mean, obviously what we have been saying for the better part of a year that Donald Trump's VP selection needs to be somebody who is younger, who has the spree de corps to like carry forth the MAGA torch and make this a lasting movement. That is so imperative. That, that is so important. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump was pressed again 
by Laura Ingram about his selection. Laura Ingram read off a list of names, and Donald Trump says, those names sound good to me. What was that list? I've listened. I've uh, been asked who they think would be a good choice, and various names came up. Um, uh, one of them was, of course, Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah. He's made a big splash. Ron DeSantis, who's made in, making an appearance today in South Carolina, we just found out. Um, obviously, Tim Scott, mm-hmm. Byron Donalds, and a, a big uh, presence here for Tulsi Gabbard. Um, very interesting. Um, our, and Christy Nome as well, I should say. Right. Are, are, are they all on your short yeah, list? They so they are. Donald Trump says, we'll let him continue. Like you have to hear the end of this answer, but that's very interesting. So again, let's, let's lock it in. That is the audience being polled, asking who they want. Vivek, she said Vivek was top of the list, a a crowd favorite. And when we do polls during our live show about this, I, I actually thought I was shocked. Oh, we put Tucker Carlson and Vivek on a poll and Vivek won two to one against Tucker Carlson. Hey, the people have spoken, right? But then other people are saying Ron DeSantis in the poll, and then also Tulsi Gabbard, who's a regular on Fox News, who's awesome. I'm a big fan of Tulsi. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what does Donald Trump have to say uh, to his response to that list? Ron DeSantis has previously said he would totally pick somebody who ran against him for president. What's this? And when can you when can we expect that you will so announce your choice? The one thing that always surprises me is that the VP choice has absolutely no impact. It's whoever the president is. It just seems uh, I remember when Sarah Palin was actually picked and she did have a big up. And then uh, they just went after her at a level that nobody seen. The Republicans themselves went after what they did. But you'll be a one term president because you've already served. Yeah. So you can only serve for one term, although they say you'll never leave office. I assume uh, yeah, that you'll just, never leave. They'll never be in ele- another say, election. Don't again. do it. He'll never leave. He's yeah. never going. So they'll, they, so Donald Trump turns it into a joke again. I like am blown away at how Donald Trump is aging in reverse. I just can't, I can't, I'll, I'll, I'll move on, but I just can't get over that. Donald Trump aging in reverse. He looks so much better than he did in 2016. It's incredible. This is nearly 10 years ago. Trump name drops Tim Scott, Christy Nome when discussing VP contenders. Donald Trump has said that he's known who his vice presidential pick will be for a while, but he's also said that there's a 25% chance that that person's gonna be the pick. So that means 75% chance <laughs> that, that, that it won't be the pick. Uh, I mean, we have so many great people in the Republican party, um, but he's not gonna pick uh, anytime soon. Uh, it's got to be somebody who'd be a good president. I mean, you've always got to have that. You know that because of a civil emergency, things happen right. No matter what things happen, it's got to be number one. And then he says, I like Tim Scott. So what does that mean? Well, Tim Scott's been on stage with Donald Trump does done some funny things with Donald Trump. Tim Scott was on stage with Donald Trump saying um, how much he loves him. <laughs> I I love this clip. I think that she actually appointed you, Tim. <laughs> and think of it. Talk about appointed, Haley. And you're the senator of his state. And she endorsed me. You must really hate her. No, it's uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh oh. I just love you. No, that's <laughs> that's why he's a great politician. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. I just love you. Speaking of getting love, uh, when Vivek Raswami, who you also see on stage there, uh, was with Donald Trump, that was during the New Hampshire victory uh, that night. Uh, Vivek Raswami was welcomed on stage for the first time with Donald Trump. Uh, the entire room roared, chanting something that you can hear audibly. Have a listen. Thank you, thank you. Wow, that's how was that? Pretty good, right? That was pretty good, and he's a fantastic guy, and he's really, uh, he's got something that's uh, very special because he started off with a Zippo, and he's got, he ended up very strong. He did a great job. I was actually surprised when he called because he was doing well, and uh, it's an honor to have his endorsement. This was the day that Vivek Ramaswamy endorsed Donald Trump, so to put that in context, um, the other thing, interesting thing about the math there is that Donald Trump just would not have won New Hampshire as strongly without Vivek's endorsement. 
there's a ton of data pollsters saying that Vivek's endorsement really is what like put it exceedingly out of reach, right? For a fraud campaign like Nikki Haley. Like they were trying to hack the Republican primary, have a bunch of Democrats vote for Nikki Haley and to try and flip the narrative on Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy dropping out and endorsing him really is what like put Trump super over the bump. Everyone's screaming VP for that exact reason, right? Everyone's yelling VP at that event. Um, you could you could hear it audibly in Trump responding saying, hey, you know what? Here we go. And here we go. This is Mar-a-Lago. Uh, a couple of days ago, the shock of everyone at one of these Mar-a-Lago events, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy and Trump walking in together with Melania, who, of course, tragically has been um, hospital bedside with her with her mother, who, who tragically passed uh, just recently. But Melania Trump and Vivek Ramaswamy and his wife, Apoorva is her name, and they're walking in together to Mar-a-Lago. Like, I mean, looking like a ticket. That's what everyone says. So there we go. Donald Trump uh, has been obviously talking quite a bit about the VP race, you know, naming his criteria. Among that criteria, according to the, you know, campaign is being young, being a member of the MAGA movement, being loyal to Trump and so forth, uh, having the energy to carry forward the movement, being a great president. And so actually maybe Donald Trump, that would advise Donald Trump to like pick someone from the presidential campaign, somebody who ran against him, presumably, right? Tim Scott ran for president, Vivek Ramaswamy ran for president. And I haven't heard Ron DeSantis' name in there. Ron DeSantis said publicly that he won't do it, but Donald Trump agreeing with the list along with Tulsi Gabbard, who ran for president, but as a Democrat against Joe Biden and who huh, should have destroyed Kamala Harris's career forever. I mean, the, 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 the savagery. Tulsi Gabbard is a legend. There is one person that is not going to get the nod, and that's Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley has gone viciously against Donald Trump in as of late. Trump dispels rumor of Nikki Haley VP pick at rally, saying, uh, not presidential timber. That probably means she's not going to be chosen for the vice president, and everyone cheered. So along with us, we cheered, and that, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously something very important. Um, internally and behind the scenes, we always uh, – we always play this clip because this is a clip that sort of exposes Trump behind the scenes with a well-known commentator, Glenn Beck, talking about his relationship with Trump and his advice to Trump on VP. And you're able to hear what Trump has to say behind the scenes. Have a listen. We, Donald Trump called me and he said, uh, any advice on who I should pick for vice president? Oh, really? Who, wow. who do you think? Not that he, I mean, he's probably calling everyone. Well, that's great that. that you're on that yeah. list. And so he said, who do you think? And I said, I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but this is the day, I think it was the day he trashed Vivek. And I uh -huh. said, Vivek. Um, and he said, why do you say that? He said, that's the number one response from everybody I've wow. asked that question. Isn't that interesting? That's the number one response to everyone I've asked that question to. This was before the Iowa caucuses. And I, he said, why do you say that? And I said, A, he can defend you. He's right in your pocket. And while you're defending this, he's watching your back defending this. I said, also, um, I think he's, his, some of his ideas are really, really good. Yeah. He connects with the youth, which now the latest uh, of 18 to 24-year-olds that voted for Biden, they're not voting for Biden. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what do we got? I mean, we got a bit of a gobbledygool here of names. Donald Trump saying, yeah, he's considering all of them. The reality is, uh, based on our connections with Trump world and the people who are familiar with this um, process, is that Donald Trump is a big time energy guy and he's going to read the energy and he's going to carry forward that energy into his pick. That There, there, there hasn't been a pick made and that while Donald Trump has favorites, that nothing has been decided. And that it's probably going to take a few months. I mean, the Republican convention is going to be in August. So it's going to take a few months. And ladies and gentlemen, we shall see. As with everything. But you know that it's your boy, Benny. And we're going to be on top of it. And we're going to be telling you everything that we know. And well, sometimes we know a lot. <laughs> and we'll share it with you. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay based. See ya.